Uh, let's take a look at a really simple practical example to identify how we would use this type of analytical re review to get some kind of assessment of whether or not this, the information you're auditing seems right or seems reasonable. So let's assume that we're auditing revenue. And uh, you'll notice that I'm using lined paper because I, uh, I really struggle to write in a straight line without them. So forgive my... All right, so let's take a look at our current year and our prior year. I still battle to write in a straight line, and I'm using, uh, <laughs> I'm using a ruler. That's fantastic. All right, so let's look at the current year prior year. So you're auditing revenue for this year, okay? So let's keep in mind that this is the information that you're trying to develop some kind of assessment of, right? You're auditing that. So you're asking yourself, does this information seem right? Okay, so that's your responsibility. I just want to make sure you understand that's the base. I'm trying to assess that information. And in order to assess that information, I'm going to use prior year or prior period information to, to see how I feel about this. So let's assume now that we're looking at the prior year's sales. And... The prior year sales were 20, okay? So how do we feel about this? I think there's an instantaneous feeling or an instantaneous understanding that something seems wrong, something doesn't seem okay. That is a phenomenal increase. They have managed to increase their revenue five times in the space of one year. Okay. So in the space of one year, they have exponentially increased their revenue. How do you feel about that? How does that seem to you? Based on your knowledge and your experience as you know, business person, student, whatever, in the corporate, financial, whatever space, what are the likelihood that a company is able to increase their revenue five times? in the space of one year. It doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem okay, right? So just by looking at last year and comparing this year to last year, I kind of get a feeling that something something's off. I'm not 100% sure, and we're gonna go into you know further investigation later, that's fine. But for now, my job is to identify how I feel about this, what is the seam. I don't seem, I don't feel okay about this number. Something seems wrong here, okay? So what we're doing is we're developing a picture of how I feel about this on the basis of what's going on around it. How do I feel about that 100 compared to the 20 of the prior year? Assuming that um, I look at this and go, I'm not really sure how I feel about this, what if we go to the year before that, the prior, prior year? What about that? Let's assume that the prior, prior year's revenue was 17. Can you see now we're actually expanding on this picture. We're coloring this picture in. To start off with, I just had the 100, and that creates a picture. It's quite a blank picture. So your revenue was 100 this year. That's, that's great. All right, if you say so. But when I compare it to last year, oh, you guys have, your sales have shot up. You're like, wow, what on earth did you do that? That feels weird. That doesn't feel right. But hey, maybe you did. Then I compare it to prior, prior period, and I go, wait a minute. The trend, now I'm starting to get a little bit of a trend, and I'm starting to get a little bit of a bigger picture. And when I look at these two, I can see the comparison. I can see the relationship between that information. You know, the revenue was kind of growing, but growing reasonably. Uh, and then all of a sudden, it's just off the charts over there. How do I feel about this information? Given nothing else but this picture, does this information, does that 100 seem right? Does it seem reasonable? Okay. Same example. Your revenue of 100 and your prior period revenue, let's say, was 92. I don't know. Pick a number. All right. How do I feel about that 100 now? Well, given 
what I know and my understanding and my experience of business and growing business, that seems right. It kind of grows with inflation maybe, you know, companies steadily grows and uh, that seems reasonable. It seems reasonable to expect that a company would grow or their revenue would grow like that. Taking a look at the prior prior year, maybe their revenue was 85 and I can start to see, you oh, know, this makes sense. There's a bit of a trend, there's, you know, there's an increase, but it's incremental, it's not exponential. How do I feel about that? I feel like that seems okay. I feel like that 100 and keeping in mind that I'm auditing this number, I feel okay about it. I want you to be aware of the fact that these numbers have value because they have been audited. That green on the uh, yellow is a little bit neon. They've been audited, right? So I feel like I can rely a little bit more on the prior year's information because they were audited. So that's my base. That's the knowledge or the foundation that I have that I know that is right. Um, this is the question mark. Comparing the question mark to what I know to be right, uh, you know, that's that's a little bit weird. So can you see that you can use prior year's information to, to kind of create a little bit of a picture and go, that's the picture of the company up till now. And now, you know, taking a look at this, that doesn't seem right. So comparing your information to prior periods, prior years, prior months is is quite valuable.